Let's talk a little bit about delegation um, and me personally, what are some of my challenges with delegation? Um, so up until maybe about four or five years ago, um, I always kind of strive for perfection, if that even is such a thing. Um, and I didn't realize that, you know, good is better than perfect in some cases, right? <laughs> um, because there is no such thing as perfect. And sometimes perfect is the enemy of good because you never ever get anything done. And so for the longest time, I didn't have a website. Like I had a digital marketing agency and a one page website. And I recruited some world-class talent with this one-page website. And eventually, um, I hired, you know, a team of graphic designers and writers. And, um, and I just kind of let them do their thing, right? The graphic designer came up with the logo and the design, right? And, and the, the writer came up with the actual copy. And, and sure, like, I had my input and I wanted to make the content better, right? But... If I went back, like I didn't have a website because I wanted the perfect website, right? And I had a trouble kind of delegating it because I didn't really know what I wanted and yet I couldn't even delegate it because in my mind it was just perfect website, right? So um, so I would just say um, you have to kind of be comfortable with um, understanding that it's not always has to be your way and that you um, your way is not always perfect you know, sometimes leverage other experts that are specifically good at what they are and then just kind of delegate to them. And then from there, then you can continue to tweak and make whatever it is that they did a little bit better, 